Hi everybody, welcome to Aikido, Aikido Flow. Flow. Now, listen, you all need a bit of Aikido, okay? You need some <laughs> Aikido. We all need to have a bit of Aikido in our kit, okay? I've been talking for ages about how much I love Aikido. Years and how years, I use it. bro, years. <laughs> how I use it in different scenarios, but I always tend to mix it as well with other different aspects and other different attacks, things I stole from other martial arts. Wait, okay? wait, you mean you've been keeping some secrets under there? Mm. Whoa, <laughs> some iron you know? fist secrets. <laughs> it's just about, you know, implementing other things which are useful. You know, you can't just stick to one thing at a time. Mm. Just implement other stuff into it. Mm. Okay, so today we're going to have a look at this. Every martial arts has its own strength. Okay, you need to take what's appropriate for you and use it. Okay, for example, okay, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Okay, so I kind of tend to use blocks like which I've learned from different martial arts, Wing Chun and stuff like that, and I implement it within my Aikido. Okay, now you all I showed you this one before, but it's like, let's say we're coming with a straight punch here and, you know, I'm blocking here. I block here and then it's like here, I'm in a position where I'm blocking here with my hips here and here I'm in a position where I can elbow here, come with an arm bar here or something like that, or I can block here and bang, bang, I can strike here, nice straight punch here. You know, there's so many things you can do. So is and that, then, so hang on, so that's, that's Wing Chun and then it turns to Aikido. Yeah. Tell, tell it, just take us through that and tell us what the changes are so we know what the okay, difference is. Okay, so are. that's the first one here. I'm blocking here. I'm blocking here. That's wing, more of a kind of wing, wing kind of block, okay? I'm coming here, I could use an elbow here, and then here's where the Aikido comes in, a nice arm bar here, you know, or if someone, someone throws a punch here, I'm going here, I'm striking here, you know, nice straight wind, Wing Chun, they punch, straight punch here, for the face, and then from here, I can come here oh. and I can do something here, code to gauge you or something like that. But it's about just mixing it up and implementing different strikes and implementing, blend them in with the Aikido. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to let you get away with that. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Show us. How... Show me. <laughs> As Morpheus likes to say <laughs> to Neo. Show us that Wing Chun. Why is it Wing Chun? Why does it work? Show us exactly how that move works. Wing, in Wing Chun, I'm no expert on Wing Chun, but my cousin Chinna is an expert on Wing Chun. Shout out to you, Chinna, if you still watch our videos. Mm. <laughs> but um, at Wing Chun, they punch in a straight line. All punches are straight. You won't see someone hooking like that. The, they always, the principle of Wing Chun is the quickest point from A to B is in a straight line. So we're punching a straight line with these knuckles here, Someone says Wing Chun, they're always moving forwards. A bit like Aikido in that sense. But I think they just combine so well together. They'll block with elbows, you know, elbows here, they'll block, you know, they'll move to the side, you know, away from the attack and everything. And they will bang, 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 they'll punch really fast and hard. And I think in those, because Wing Chun, you're quite close up. It's not like you're keeping your distance. You're moving in, you're quite close up. You're in a good position to do some Aikido in there as well and just, you know what I'm saying, do whatever it is you need to do and, oh, see, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, you're in a good position to implement Aikido with Wing Chun. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down, <laughs> man. You need to slow down. Okay. Sh show us, sh show us, show us the, the block and the punch at chest level and also at hip, hip level, because I noticed when you were doing it, you were swiveling all the way around mm -hmm. and then coming back. Uh -huh. Okay, so show us it at all of the levels. And also I did notice your foot went all the way out mm -hmm. and came all the way back in. Yeah, because you're kind of blocking here from the hip here. You're blocking from your hips here. Mm -hmm. That's what helps your body to turn. And that's where I'm blocking. So it's kind here. of, because if you're powerful here, mm -hmm. I'm not going to block with this arm. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be strong enough, but if I block with my hip as well, mm -hmm. it's going to be, I'm going to, my block's going to be much stronger. If it's coming down low, I'll block the same way, but I'll block here. And then that will give me an opportunity to move in here or something like that. So it's either down low here or up high here. So you're really molding 
the Wing Chun and, and Aikido. Yes. So it's like Wing Chun is at the top, yes. but the bottom is almost Aikido movement in the bottom. Yes. And it's about keeping that contact as well. I make that contact here. I can feel where you are. So even if my eyes are closed, you know, I can still feel where you are and I can do something. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can feel you here. I can do something with a technique here. Oh, I can do something here. I can do something here. But I can feel where you are because I'm staying in close. And I'm keeping you close to me. Oh, boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just about you implementing what works and what works well together. So in conclusion, okay, you don't just, anyone who just sticks to one martial arts, okay, great, you know, by all means, practice your style and perfect it but it can't do any harm to take aspects from other martial arts and implement them in your own. Don't get me wrong, Aikido has its faults. You know, all martial arts have their faults, but all martial arts have their strengths as well. So take those strengths and use them to your advantage, okay? Hope this helps, and we'll see you next time.